LCM and East Chambers administrators have two weeks left before school starts, and they're eager to see how their plans hold up. Today is the first day back on contract. At Little Cypress Mauriceville CISD, teachers just got their first look inside classrooms. Superintendent Stacy Brister says that was a big reason they pushed back their start date to August 17th. A lot of that had to do with giving our teachers the ability to have time to plan. In Winnie, East Chambers ISD is also two weeks away from starting. Analyzed data uh, from our staff surveys and our parents surveys to find the best balanced approach. Superintendent Scott Campbell says the district is still finalizing registration numbers so they can best follow CDC and TEA guidelines. On Monday, Bridge City ISD became the first local district to return. The head of the Texas State Teachers Association says it's too soon. When you say that you have four weeks or eight weeks, you're still giving a timeline to something that has no timeline. President Avidia Molina says the safety of children and staff is not the state's top priority. Well, the reason that we need reassurance is because we don't feel safe. You're not listening to us. We are very fearful that we are going to lose a co-worker, that we're going to lose somebody's family member. At LCM, 12 to 14 percent of high school students have chosen virtual, while at the elementary level, up to 30 percent of students have opted for online learning. We also think that will vary as school returns. We're going to have parents waiting to see how does the operations take place, are kids safe? The numbers are similar at East Chambers. 65% of students will attend in person. They don't ask, but we have to. They, they want to act. Campbell says it will take everyone, teachers, parents, and students, to do their part for these plans to work. In order for this to be successful, we need a cooperation. Molina with the TSTA feels districts are being forced to get kids back in the classroom. She tells me, quote, it's just not safe to do so. Tyler Segerman, 12 News. A lot of perspective there. Tyler, thank you.